So what role do you see yourself playing in the creation of this postcard archive? Um, what do you do? Well, How would you describe what you did to a friend, maybe? <laughs> I've actually tried doing that to my roommate, and I'll be like, I'm putting this postcard into a database, and he's like a computer engineer, so he's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but anybody else is like, um, yeah, if I take everything on here and translate it into data, and they just kind of get a blank look on their faces, but um, <laughs> basically just looking at the postcard and sort of breaking down all the information there and sort of categorizing it, making it easily searchable. Yeah. Uh, we ha are beginning to have a system of categories, an organization in other words, which means that you can get to the particular kind of postcard you want to get to. That's absolutely a plus. And um, another advantage of having an electronic archive now is that you've got the potential for some kind of annotation and you've got the potential for links across categories and across individual postcards where the categories don't quite capture something else you're trying to get at. So that means um, multiple paths um, of not just entry but searching and, and creating new categories in a sort of just-in-time way. That's, that's also part, I think, of having a robust archive. Um, and the, the search engine matters, and search engines, which language we didn't have prior to the electronic, work very differently in the print world. It's not that they're not helpful, but in general, they don't cross categories um, quite so well. And so I think this is a plus no matter how you slice it. I mean, when you create your search aids or when you decide how you're going to organize it, I think that is, that's a rhetorical act mm -hmm. because you are imposing an order, an order that, that satisfies some sort of vision that you have of the archive of this particular array of papers, whether you want to do it chronologically, whether you want to do it categorically.